Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to do a clamshell lighting setup. And I'm here with Haley and she's agreed generously uh, to be our model for today's video. So what is a clamshell lighting setup? Well, it's probably better if I show you from this camera over here. So what we've got on the top is a Mola Demi Beauty Dish and it's about 22 inches or 50 centimeters. And then here, on the bottom, we've got an Ellen Crumb 35 by 100 centimeter strip softbox. That's about one by three feet. If you can imagine what a clam would look like if it was wide open from the side, you would have this sort of setup. So we've got one part of the clam here, then the hinge, and then the bottom side of the clam coming down here with this softbox. And then the camera is pointed right in the middle. Let's talk about the placement and the positioning. So the top light is pulled down almost until it's in the frame. And the reason for that is I want there to be a giant reflection of this light in her eyes called a catch light. If I go up too high, we'll get a lot of shadows from her eyelashes and no sparkle, no little white dot there in her eyes. So it's very important to have it down normally about as low as you can go. So I'm gonna shoot at F8 today. And the reason is, the reason for that is I found when I tested out my Canon RF 85 millimeter 1.2, that it was at its sharpest between 5.6 and F8. And that's what I found for uh, most um, lenses that I've tested out. So that's the reason for that. I also want a little more depth of field um, for a super close up, and that's why F8 will be a good choice. When you're doing a clamshell lighting setup, you normally want to have a one to four ratio. And that just means that this light is going to meter at F8, our camera's f-stop, and you want this light to meter two stops down that is F4. One to four is there because this light is one quarter the power of this one or this one is four times brighter than that one. That's the reason for that sort of ratio. Now, a lot of time ratios are confusing, so I just like to say I want it two stops down. So I've already metered it, but just to confirm, I'll meter it again. And I'm using my Sekonic L478B, which I've had for about 20 or so years. So you, when you're meter, you also wanna make sure that your meter is very close to the subject's face because you'll get the most accurate reading. If I were to meter it, up here and I fire the top light, um, it meters at F16. But if I meter it here, which is in the correct space right here on her forehead or on her nose, it meters at F8. You also wanna make sure that it is aimed directly at the middle of the face, not at the forehead and not at the chest. That's usually the best place for it. So it's metering at F8 on her face. Just to confirm, we also want it to meter um, here at F4 under her neck and we'll shoot that, and that's exactly what it meters. All right, so there's one thing I haven't done, and that's I need to fire both of these at the same time and meter the light and see how bright that is. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I click this over to all. Okay, perfect. And now I'll push this in front of her here and fire it. Okay, so it meters at F8 and one third. And that just means that I'm gonna now need to shoot at F8 and one third. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera here to that exposure, perfect. Okay, great, now I'm gonna shoot for you just one light at a time. So I'll go ahead and fire the main light only. Here we go. And now I'll fire the fill. And then I'll turn this back and I'll fire both lights at the same time. And then I'll come over here and I'll bring up all three of them at the same time so you can get a look. So if you could just imagine, the one on the left, that's the main light only. And then we're gonna add into it the one in the middle, that's the fill. And then combined, that's gonna give us this finished or nice image on the right that has really nice contrast. And if we zoom in here, you'll see the nice, beautiful um, catch light that we have from our main light. The catch light that we're getting from our fill, you'll also see a small catch light over there. I'm probably going to have to edit out that's coming from the gap in the window. And then you'll see them both combined on the right. 
Okay, and so there's just one more quick tip that I want to give sort of a bonus tip here at the end. Notice how this softbox to her chest and this sort of softbox, the top side of the softbox to her forehead is equidistant. And what's going to happen is that the fill will be even from the top to the bottom. If I bring this fill in really close to her chest and point it up at her, I'm going to have uneven fill from the top to the bottom and the fill is going to be more pronounced down here than it is up here. So I think that about wraps it up. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And as always, stay safe. It's summer. Stay cool. And I'll talk to you soon.